We're on the button for this next hand with 10 8 of clubs with about 15 big blinds. I'm in raise it and get caught by Gator on the big blind. The flop comes down king 5 8 rainbow. We hit middle pair on a king high board. Gator checks it over to me. This is a good board to go for a seabed on, but middle pair is not good enough to get three streets of value, so I decide to check it back. Checking back also allows Gator to go for bluffs. He's a very aggressive opponent and he has a big stack and he could fire a lot of turns. The turn comes to seven of clubs, giving us the backdoor flush draw. Gator fires out for 33,000 and just a very easy call from me here. Middle pair and a flush draw is a no-brainer. I throw it in and we're off to the river which is the seven of diamonds. I couldn't really see him firing a seven on the turn that wouldn't make too much sense to me. And Gator cuts out some chips and fires out for 70,000. He has a countless amount of bluffs here especially when we check back the flop. Our specific hand isn't that great to call because we have two clubs which makes it less likely that he had a missed flush draw. Also having a 10 isn't great blocking 10-9. I still think there are too many bluffs and I think our hand is too under rep to fold so I stick in the call. He says we're good and he mucks his cards. I show the 10-8 and we're chipping up in a big way. Later I would look on the stream and find out that he had four deuce of diamonds just going for the four high bluff. So I think the check back on the flop really induced that from Gator and we're on to the next hand. 